What do you invest in, Courtney? Yeah, so honestly, I've done a lot of different things over the years. Um, so I'm predominantly in the single family, long-term buy and hold rental space right now. But I have touched a variety. I've done everything from low-end to high-end properties. Um, I've done everything from trailers to mobile home parks to RV parks to um, small multifamily development, wholesaling, flipping, buying and selling creatively. I have run the gamut trying to find my identity as an investor. Um, and I think I've finally, almost 10 years into this, I've finally found my path forward. There you go. And how is that that little shift that you've been? It's probably a big shift. How has that shift uh, been? How has it been to you know change gears here and there? Yeah. So I think for me, I used to always say, "Well, I don't have a niche, right? I don't have a specialty. All I really cared was, is it a deal or not? You know, right. how can I make money?" Um, but the reality is, is that although that was fun and it has provided me a lot of opportunities. Um, what it lacked was that clarity to really go the full gamut in one area. And yeah. so it's the deal of many trades, a master of none. I didn't want to do that. Right. So I really started, I think for me, the biggest part of the shift was I wanted proof of concept. I okay. wanted to kind of taste test to see what did I like? What did I not like? Okay. And so I kept coming back to, you know, single families for long-term rentals. Yeah. And there's there's a lot of seasoned investors out there that I call mentors that would say the best investment anyone could ever make is buy and hold single family rentals. I know Leon would say that absolutely all day, every day. And you work 